All right, welcome back. It's been a while since I played this, and yeah, I seem to remember now we were entering the bookstore to search for. I think it was the guy who had something to do with Sarah Hawkins's paintings, Algin and Drake, the order of the nameless bookstore. Well, basically, if you watch my review of the Color Out of Space, I'll sort of explain why I stopped playing this for a while. But I, I, I kind of want to commit to finishing games that I actually start on this uh, channel, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna get through this. Here we go. We're at the bookstore again. I remember now. Ah, oh, yes, there was a broken window. I kind of forgotten the plot. <laughs> it's something to do with a spooky painting, which a monster comes out of, and a mental asylum, and some kind of weird green gas. I, I vaguely remember what's going on. I'll, I'll pick it up. I'm sure. Oh yeah. oh yeah, there was a spooky skeleton in here. Where is the bookseller? Where is the bookseller? Where's the potion seller? That's more important. Hold on, I wanted to look at a skeleton. Why has the bookshop got a skeleton hanging up? It's not even Halloween. Let's start over. Where did they break in from? Here, yeah, obviously. Blood. Seems like amateur work. Oh, yeah. I feel like the game's holding my hand again. I mean, it, it kind of, you know what it is? I feel like sometimes it's treating me like I'm stupid. Which I kind of am, but you know. What killed all these animals? What are those? Rats and mice? What happened that made the burglar flee before finishing his work? Probably that spooky symbol there. What the... Charles Hawkins? What sort of power did Sarah Hawkins' painting possess? Drake put in a great deal of effort to hide whatever is in here. Everything is linked to the Sarah Hawkins case. Oh, we've got some occultism progression, that's good. Oh, a secret. Drake left instructions on how to find the combination of his safe. The clues to the combination are found in three cylinders, each one hidden where life and study combine in the Greek world. Life and study combine in the Greek world. Mm, library. Okay, Greek order. Ah, okay, see, now it's got my brain thinking, and I'm, I'm enjoying this. Oh, here we go. We've got loads of things. Arkham there. editions. Never heard of them. Another volume by Arkham editions. Arkham editions. Arkham editions. Stop saying the Arkham editions, oh my god. Arkham editions. Oh. Yeah. Never heard of him. Never heard of him, he's just... <laughs> I wonder what this is. Another volume by Arkham editions. <sighs> I kind of hate you now. Arkham editions. Oh. Never heard of him. Yeah, never heard of him, have you? Never, never heard of him in my life. Cylinders that Drake tried to hide. I should perhaps listen to them. Would you read this book? Yeah, let's read the book. What does this strange book contain? This book contains unholy knowledge. Oh, oh, oh yes. Arkham editions. Arkham editions. Never heard of them. I don't know if you know this about me, but I actually had never heard of Arkham editions before. An old diary. Okay, we've got Drake cylinders. Let's listen. And these red drops, like precious stones, lie fixed. Set in divine gold. To be the guardian of the grail does not protect me from its attractions, Henry. Red in gold. I finally understood that we were only pieces on the chessboard of the gods. Let those of us who are still standing protect our white queen from their dark soldiers. I thank you again for the anthology of the works of Arkham editions that you sent me. Arkham editions? Volume 9. Let's see, first things first, here's the chessboard. Oh, do we, is it just going to do the puzzle for Green me? Green has little protection. So there's three still standing of the white pieces. So, three. I'm going to guess that's the number to the second clue. Interesting. Is that... It might actually let me do some puzzles. Oh, here's that thing that may be the grail. The chalice of knowledge. So let's count the red pieces. How am I meant to tell if I've gone around once? So that crack there. One, two. So let's say five for number one. 
hey this is kind of good and i'm enjoying this if this is how the puzzles in the game i mean it's not super difficult but at least i'm doing something what did drake say about this collection number nine first published in 1908 maybe 808 might be the number or it might just be nine who knows five three No. Oh, it was just nine. Just number nine, because that was the number of the book, I suppose. I don't know. Well, at least we figured out a clue, and that was actually kind of fun. That was actually a bit of puzzling. Oh no, I've gone under the map. When he opened it, his mind was projected into another body. Okay, if that's what you want to be the thing that happened. Dr. Colden, this man's condition is deteriorating. What says Dr. Fuller? It's his patient, after all. He... He's busy with Captain Fitzroy. He specifically asked us not to bother him when that's the case. Oh, of course. I'll see what I can do. Mr. Blake, can you hear me? Any idea what this man might be undergoing? 30-year-old subject. Severe hypothermia. His skin shows abnormal loss of color and seems dried out. He's totally dehydrated. His fingertips and toes seem to feature a slight ring under the skin. His Severe anus stinks. Swollen abdomen with traces of petechia. Slight protuberances seem to indicate the presence of a foreign body. Mm -hmm. So, Doctor, an opinion? He's fucked, mate. I'm not sure I have the necessary knowledge to treat this man. I almost don't believe it myself, but these symptoms are not those usually associated with the human species. But his body is undergoing unnatural mutations, and this transformation is killing him. His body simply can't cope. Where could he have gotten such an infection? I pray that it's not here. Dr. Colden, may I know what you're doing to my patient? How about what you've done to him? Let us calm down, my dear Marie. I don't appreciate your tone, nor your insinuation. I've seen suction cups on his fingers, his falling body temperature, his dehydration. It's your innocent worries for this man that have you overreacting. I will not let you do this. You disappoint me, Marie, but I still have hope you'll one day share my point of view. In the meantime, take care of your own patients and try not to forget who you're dealing with. Mmm. All right, bitch. Is there no evidence of his crimes? Oh, that evidence exists. I'm sure of it. I need to find the missing medical files. And where would you find those? In his office. What if you get caught? I'd rather not think about that. I'm counting on your discretion. Yep. Doctor, please. Uh, my chest. Oh. There's something fucky going on in here. Given her file, a nephrectomy would have been inevitable. But Fuller was able to save her kidney. Oh, nice one, Fuller. Well, a ship, more like. I'll say I'll save that line for when he's talking to me. Oh, here's our man. Ethan. Marie, I What are you doing here? I'm waiting for my medication, of course. This man, Edward Pierce. His file is incomplete. What did Fuller do to him? So no. Dr. Colden, we need you at once in dormitory B. Dr. Fuller always keeps his key with him. The key to the boiler room is missing. Let's hope I can go through the administration office.
Wait a minute. Where do you think you're going? Well, I'm just cr I'm just crawling on the floor for no reason. Dr. Colden. Mrs. Donovan. Nobody goes into Dr. Fuller's office. But rest assured, I'll tell him you came by. No, don't tell him. No. It won't be necessary. Thank you. You all right? Why is this room in such a state? Because, as always, I'm cleaning it by myself. And the water was once again shut off this morning. I had to bother Mrs. Donovan again, giving her a new excuse to belittle me. No, you're pulling my leg. I'm not joking. I saw the schedule. She's alone in the bathroom again. Yeah, it's right. I've seen that as well. Nothing to that old witch, Donovan. When you it's temperamental, what if I understand best. correctly. Okay, that's a nice clue, okay. So we can follow these pipes around the place, that's quite cool. Oh, I guess I haven't been in here, have I? Oh, it's because I need... The door to the boiler room is locked. I have to get the key if I wish to get rid of Donovan. There we go, we got it. The key to the boiler room. All I have to do is shut off the water and hope Donovan takes the bait. Hey, mate. Keep a lookout. All right. Look at the state of this place. Oh, come on. I can't shut this with my bare hands. I need a tool. Well, there's plenty of tools around here. Look at this. Oh, look, there we go, there's a tool. Shit. I feel guilty about Elizabeth, but I need the diversion. Mrs. Donovan? I'm busy. Elizabeth, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. Shh. Last, the missing files must be hidden here. The Stendhal syndrome, of course. This is where Fuller found his diagnosis for Francis Sanders. Why does Dr. Fuller write psychological reports about Sarah Hawkins? First, I presume that her blood was the key. But I found nothing to do. This finger belonged to a woman. Why keep it here? Hawkins, Fitzroy, and Fuller. What is the connection between these three? The fear thinks that I have the presence of mind to set the mall in the basement. Oh, here we of go. course. Sarah Hawkins is the connection. Trails of blood, very good. Oh, this is where I was trying to escape from. I, I know this place a little bit. Oh, Dr. Fuller, hi. I was just looking for you, ah, actually. Now, that's the Marie that I know. I knew I could count on your scientific curiosity. It's time to show you what you were so eager to discover. Oh, no, don't. You're gonna shoot me. At least have the decency to look me in the eyes. Turn around. Slowly. Take a minute to look around. Everything points to Charles Hawkins. He was here for a very specific item. Oh, no. The book. Why was it in the safe? Have you read it? Answer the question. How foolish of you. Now you won't be able to escape his will. What did it show you? Let's go back to the start, shall we? Oh, not the start. Whose life did the Necronomicon choose to show you? Dr. Colden. She was at the Riverside Institute. She's in danger. I have to go. Wait. 
No one knows the occult better than me. You might need my help. Yes or no? All right. All right. I might need you after all. Perfect. Let's meet later at the Hawkins mansion. Now go. Rescue the doctor. All right. I don't take orders from you, mate. I pray that Colden is really here and alive. She's down here, mate. She's down here. We know where we know where, we know where she went. Oh fuck, what the hell? Ah, oh, that just scared me. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. What what is happening to me? Ah. Oh. What was that? I don't even, I no, it was. That was actually pretty good. That was pretty spooky. I don't know why, because I just couldn't tell what it was. What was that? It's as if I'd been transported somewhere else. That was kind of, that kind of spooked me. Effectively Lovecraftian, maybe. I was talking about on my review of the Color Out of Space how. Look at that, it's just like a, a flat a flat picture. I wonder if it's meant to look like that. What happened? Something has changed, but what? Yeah, that was like I didn't really see what it was and it was so like weird and alien looking that it gave me a fright. That was, that was quite good, that quite effective. Look, that door's got a lot of symbols on. I feel like these things on the wall might. I mean, they could have something to do with something, haven't they? There must be a reason why these things are glowing up like that, but they don't seem to be. particularly doing anything, so. Hmm, I am stumped. I'm actually stumped by this game. I feel like I'm missing something here. Okay. What the hell? Okay, so sometimes it transports me. Oh, it's like I keep looping around. Okay then. So, I wonder if... I'd, I'm confused. I wonder if it has something to do with whether this door's open or closed. Let's try opening the door. Now let's see. There we go. It's the doorways. I see. Okay, I was so confused. That kind of starts to make sense. And free me. Oh no. There we go. There's our little lamp. So. Now I've got to find this door to open. Spooky noise. Okay, okay. Oh. oh my god, look at that. I thought it was I thought it was it the clown. Holy shit! Oh, we're getting all the things done. It looks like things are back to normal. Jesus, that was weird. It was a bit of a time waster, to be honest. I don't think I really... I think it really did much to advance the plot. Just kind of like, oh, you're stuck in a time loop. It was kind of cool. It was kind of spooky, but...
Hey, what the hell? What's going on? It never ends. Damnation. That's... That's me. Oh my god, now I'm in a cell. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> Not even a door anymore. Oh. oh, there we go. This is getting fucking weird. What's going on? Colden? What's going on? Was it a hallucination? It seems like a hallucination. This whole thing seems like a hallucination, to be honest. Please take a seat and be quiet, Mr. Pierce. I'll be with you in a moment. Stop whatever the hell you're doing and turn around now. Uh. It can't be. No! You son of a bitch! What did you do to her? I wish I could have done more experiments on you, Mr. Pierce. Oh, what the hell? Colden? Colden? Do you fancy a Colden? No, oh, she's dead, look. Get out of this. This place is fucked. Why don't you just go home? Feeling ill. I'm here, but no. No. Let's get you out of here. It comes in my dreams. Our minds melt like colors on a palette. Come with me. Then let's go before your husband finds us. It was in your studio. What? You painted me. That's where you saw me. Of course. The men in white are coming. You mean the guards? This way. Follow me. Well, this way? Are we going? What the? Oh no. Hey there. Don't get far. Oh, come on, mate. It was in your studio. What? You painted me. That's where you saw me. Of course. Oh, look, there's like a leg in there. Ah! Oh. You mean the guards? Jesus, I didn't see this. What the? Oh no. Hey. hey. Where are we running to? Wait! The machine. It's the green. The decaying one. The gas? Yes. It's not good for living beings. We don't have time for that. I am not moving until the wrong is set right. Oh, bloody hell. Damn it. Ugh. There's always a crank, isn't it, that you can't turn? I'd be better off finding a tool. Yeah. Perfect. Well, that was a difficult puzzle. All right. That should do it. <sighs> Who's this now? Tentacle. Your wife thinks so. Fool. 
My desire to protect Sarah is stronger than their petty schemes. I hate it when I get it in the neck from the wife. Just killed your husband, let's go. Okay, well, that seems like a good place to end it. That was quite suspenseful and exciting. I don't know how many chapters are in this game. I could be right at the end, and then I'll record another episode, and it'll just be the end of the game. But I haven't seen much of I haven't seen much of Cthulhu. We've just seen a lot of spooky cult type action. No parent should have to bury their child, knowing it's me that put him there. My work was what lured me here in the first place. Began showing me things. You are mine. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh really, but those those screams were quite amusing. It's over now. Is it? I don't think it is. There's a spooktopus. <laughs> that was kind of fun. It gets a bit I don't know. It's 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 a pretty good game. I, I keep saying this. I keep going. I like. I keep being down on it, and then it's all right. Like there's some bits that I like, some bits that I don't, and uh, it, just, it gave me a bit of a fright. A couple of points at that last bit, so yeah, pretty cool. Okay, uh, thanks for watching. And next episode might. I don't know. I feel like we're getting towards the end of the game. I don't know. Maybe maybe next episode it'll be over with. and move on to something else. Um. Yeah. So, cheers for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll catch you next time. Alright, goodbye.